I know there are a lot of people here, especially here at Harvard, who are wondering what happened? What went wrong? Uh, obviously, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, and she won more votes for president than any white man in history. Um, but this is obviously a race to 270. And she came up short in traditionally Democratic states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. She told donors not long after the election that she thought the, the letter from FBI Director James Comey uh, was really the nail in the coffin for her. Do you agree? Is that, is that what went wrong? Well, look, we are really proud uh, of her margin in the popular vote. Uh, and, but as you said, this was about electoral college uh, votes, and we did come up short. Um, we felt very good about where we were going into the last 10, 20 days of the election. Uh, I think it is hard to imagine the kind of impact that that letter uh, had. Um, uh, you know, most of the public polling showed a distinct drop. We certainly saw that in our uh, internal numbers, and particularly because the letter didn't really seem to have much of a purpose. He, he said he had some emails, he hadn't seen them, he didn't really know what they were. Um, so, look, when you look across those three states that you mentioned that we lost, we're talking about 100,000 votes, anything could have made a difference with, with such small margins, less than 1% in each of those states. But, but we do think that that was an incredibly powerful uh, force in the race. You know, the other reality is, uh, you know, we were hoping for stronger performance in some sectors, and a lot of the data was very off in this race. So we're, we have to reflect on all of those reasons. Um, What's but, that, what sectors? Well, uh, we were uh, expecting to perform better with uh, suburban women in particular. We saw those numbers a lot stronger than what happened on uh, Election Day. We do think that was because uh, of the Comey letter. Um, uh, we saw a lot of young people go to third party candidates. We think the letter had a lot to do with that as well. So there were a number of reasons for this, but uh, lead among them, in my view, would be that letter from Director Comey. And Kellyanne, you said that, you, that the, the, the shift, the movement towards Donald Trump and away from Hillary Clinton among undecided voters and some of these key demographic group started before the Comey letter came out. Yes, and you even see the public polls that reflected what we were seeing internally, Jake. For example, ABC News released a poll on a Sunday that said 50-38. We really didn't believe that she was at 50. We knew we were not under 40. But everybody then had to live with that 12-point poll because people held it up as evidence that the race was over, that there was no way Hillary Clinton could lose, no way Donald Trump could win. And by Friday of that same week, it was a one-point race, and that was uh, before the Comey letter. Also, Secretary Clinton herself, the night of the day the Comey letter was released on October 28th, said at her rally that she, it didn't matter because Americans had already decided what they thought about the emails and that they, it was already baked in the cake, and this was a messaging point from her campaign. So at the time they said that, maybe it was wishful thinking, maybe they weren't being completely truthful, and now it's, it's supposed to be the Comey letter. And, and I have to say, you know, Donald Trump turned over 200 counties that went for President Obama in 2012 to Donald Trump in 2016. That's because of messages that connect with people in those areas, not because of a letter late in the game. Um, I do think that it probably had an effect on some voters. But if you want to reach suburban women, and you, the question is, you're the first female president running for, you're the first female running for president, as a party nominee, then why is the message not really connected to them? 